My name is Matt Horwich. My fight name is the Multiverse Surfing Sabertooth River Dolphin. And sometimes I go with the Limit Smasher. Just uh, about our journey to set the bar higher as human beings and smash new limits uh, artistically and scientifically and athletically. It's in all our nature to want to inspire others and break the records of the athletes the generation before and inspire the kids to break our records the next generation and be better than us and set the bar higher as human beings. And the River Dolphin and Multiverse Park because I'm a big fan of the beautiful multiverse of God's limitless creativity and uh, the River Dolphins and the Amazon River are such a beautiful and unique species that I was so amazed by it. As a kid, um, I didn't, I wish I got into wrestling and stuff, but uh, growing up as a kid, I was kind of a, kind of a shithead kid. I mean, I grew up with a, a single parent, my mom. I mean, I lived with my dad part of the time, but mostly grew up uh, raised by my mom, a single parent. I didn't really start evolving as an artist in person until I left and got some real life street experience, and, uh, traveling around and meeting some cool people, and just learning in, uh, in the school of like reality, traveling around. And, so uh, I got into mixed martial arts. I saw Horse Gracie came out, and uh, I was just studying a traditional style at the time, not really into it, but just getting started because I'd see the Van Damme movies about the Kumite, and I was like, wow, that'd be awesome to be a martial artist and a champion. So I saw everyone was talking about this event where they're going to find out what style's the best, and they're all going to compete. I saw Hoist Gracie submitting way larger opponents and all these traditional styles of martial arts rather easily. And I was like, wow, I gotta save up enough to go train with that guy. So I worked odd jobs and saved up a couple grand and went to Torrance and uh, lived on the streets, camped out, I was a hippie street kid, and uh, spent all the money on learning, getting started in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with Royce. Then I traveled around a while, and I was always back and forth on if I wanted to be a musician, a martial artist. And, um, I heard about UFC making a comeback, and at the time I was in Oregon, and Randy Couture was the champion, so I got back into training at Team Quest with Randy Couture, Matt Lindman, Shale Sonnen. Um, got back into it, and have been competing ever since. Actually, my friend TJ, I gotta give a shout out, kinda got me back into it because we'd have a couple beers and uh, wrestle and I'd catch him in arm bars and triangles and stuff before everyone knew about it. And, uh, I was like, wow, this is too much fun. I think I wanna get back into this and try to become a professional fighter. Well, it's in our nature to set the bar higher as human beings. We all want to keep evolving, coming back way better than we are yesterday. Uh, I always feel the best high in life when I can just smash my record on deep leg presses or on sprints and cardio or uh, overhead presses. And it's, uh, I mean, it's in our nature as human beings to want to break barriers, shatter records uh, athletically or scientifically. And uh, it's a great time to live in with all the great scientists and uh, knowledge that's available to us, great minds that have contributed throughout the centuries, and the great athletes from back in the Greek pancreation days to now, and the Hoist Gracies to Anderson Silvas. And, uh, it's always evolving. It's, uh, it's a great experience. And, um, so, we're all born into this great story of life. We've been inspired by heroes and stories since the ancient uh, Greek theater days. Or uh, Now we got comic book characters that we go see the movie and we're inspired by. Sometimes I wonder if like people we think were some of their gods, like Zeus or whatever, were really just like comic book characters and part of their art and culture that they were inspired by, just like Wolverine and the incredible Hulk to us. And, uh, what if people discover our civilization way later and they think like Incredible Hulk was our god of rage or something when really we don't think he's god or anything. He's just uh, a hero in a story we're inspired by and part of our culture and art. Um, my goal is to go as far as I can in the sport and uh, live up to my fullest potential. Um, whether that, whether I can become like a, 
someone Anderson Silva's level that's like gets to be like a, a super legend in the sport or whether it's uh, just someone that gets some good wins and uh, it grows as an artist from the sport and I would like to uh, I, I'm a lot like Evan Tanner uh, I consider myself to be more of an artist than a fighter and it'd be great to uh, I think MMA is going to be a stepping stone to great things to come to be able to get into creative expression and do some acting on some of the other fighters or getting into a creative writing and we all have every day's a new day of adventure and limitless potential to tap into and once you find your dream uh, it always leads to new depths and new dreams to follow like we're all surfing this infinitely accelerating current of creativity with the, the universe's expansion and the more you discover the more you discover there is left to discover